Germany's Rheinmetall recently unveiled a new tank, or rather a mechanized fire support vehicle. The new vehicle is dubbed Lynx 120, because it is made on the chassis of the KF-41 Lynx infantry fighting vehicle and utilizes the 120mm gun. You can research your own tanks in Conflict of Nations. Thanks to Conflict of Nations for sponsoring this video. Conflict of Nations is a free online PvP strategy game. Choose a real country to lead in modern global warfare and fight up to 128 other players in real time in games that can take weeks to complete. Use many different units to build your army, declare war to your neighbors or forge alliances with other players. Choose your own strategy, engage in epic battles to take over the world. One thing I like about the game is that it is a long-term real-time strategy game. A great thing is that you can play on the same account on both PC and mobile. Click on the link in the description to get an exclusive gift. 13,000 gold and one month of premium subscription for free. The offer is available for only 30 days, don't lose time. In my video on the KF-41 Lynx, I mentioned the vehicle was modular and could become pretty much anything. At the time though, it was not really mentioned anywhere that it could become a tank. But lo and behold, here it is, a tank on the KF-41 chassis. The timing of its reveal is good because the American Mobile Protected Firepower competition is coming to an end soon and the new American light tank will be announced, which will most likely be the Gryphon 2. This will probably increase the popularity of light tanks in the West. Now, Lynx 120 has one clear advantage over its American counterpart. It is equipped with a 120mm gun instead of the 105mm on the American tank. The gun is said to be the German Leopard 2 gun, which is apparently the L44 variant, based on its size. The 120mm gun means that the tank, or the mechanized fire support vehicle, would have access to better ammunition. It should be noted though that the US is developing the multipurpose projectile for the 105mm gun, but is not expected to enter service until 2028 at least. Lynx 120 would already have access to the multipurpose DM-11 projectile, which is the programmable high-explosive projectile with the air burst ability. Not to mention that it can fire much more prominent armor-piercing ammunition. The fire control system of the vehicle is not known, other than the fact that it has cameras with automatic target tracking and detection mounted around the vehicle for 360 degrees coverage. But I would assume that the fire control system includes third generation thermal imagers for both gunner and commander, and the automatic target tracking ability, since that is what is present on the other variants of Lynx. The vehicle appears to have a Leopard 2 based turret. The only thing that would actually make a difference here is that if it actually inherited the Leopard 2 wedge armor, and is not just shaped like that for the looks. There are two possibilities. The vehicle either has a flat composite armor array, or slightly angled, and has the wedge armor put on top of that. The wedge armor of Leopard 2, for those who don't know, is a type of non-explosive reactive armor, which consists of a sandwich of rubber between the steel plates. The rubber distorts during the penetration, which relocates the plates, which causes the penetrating projectile to be affected in a similar way as if it is hitting the explosive reactive armor commonly found on the Russian tanks. The second option is that the composite armor array goes all the way to the end of the turret front. Of course, the second option would make the turret heavier and would not be an exact copy of the Leopard 2 turret. The armor on the hull is somewhat known. We do know that the upper front plate does have a composite armor array, and the armor add-ons are the Advanced Modular Armor Protection or AMAP add-ons on the side. That would make the side armor resistant to direct hits from RPG rockets, and even stronger types of munitions if they impact it from an angle. The front armor is resistant to 30mm autocannons at least, and also at least against RPG rockets. The turret armor, of course, is not known. It is also reported by Dreams that Rheinmetall offers various protective upgrades for the vehicle, including the Active Defense System, or ADS, Hard Kill Active Protection System. This probably involves the Strike Shield Active Protection System, which is the result of the ADS development. The Strike Shield system is a hybrid of Hard Kill APS and Add-on Armor modules. The way it works is that it has both Raiders and Launchers integrated into Add-on Armor modules which are then mounted on the vehicle. This system is also very good for urban combat, since it can intercept threats fired from just 10 meters away. Now, the weight of the vehicle is obviously unknown. But judging by the weight of K41 Lynx, I would assume this vehicle weighs well over 50 tons. 
which is on par with many main battle tanks out there. But, to be fair, the vehicle does have many comparable characteristics to modern MBTs. The engine, if it retained the same one from the KF-41, should be a 1140 horsepower diesel engine, with maximum torque of 5411 Nm. The engine is pretty decent one, and should offer good mobility for the vehicle, even if it weighs as much as it does. So far, no one has really expressed interest in procuring this vehicle, but since it has been just revealed, that makes sense, especially since not a lot of information is available about it. For what it is though, it is not bad. Maybe we will see some countries go towards somewhat lighter vehicles equipped with hard kill active protection systems over the 70 ton MBTs, but only time will tell. That would be all, if you like my content you can consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day. Conflict of Nations is a free online PvP strategy game, happening in a modern global warfare. Click on the link in the description to get an exclusive gift, 13,000 gold and one month of premium subscription for free. The offer is only available for 30 days, so don't lose time.